20 seconds in. These guys look really evenly matched. I mean, they're both kind of built the same. Neither one of them are super explosive. They're both grinders. They're both going to pull on you, get you tired, try to walk you to the edge, good at lifting. But they're not going to explode on you like, like a jeans. Oh, arm spin. He's going to get it. Two for Stefanowitz. Brian Medlin getting in Joe Rao's ear. I think that was the right call. Didn't certainly didn't go straight feet to back. There was a pause there. Stefanovic stayed with it, so it's his point for sure. One fifty one left first period. Now they're in that sort of stalemate position. Minute and a half left. Johnny Stefanowitz up 2 0. He knows it. He's got to keep wrestling. The passivity calls are going to start coming if nobody does anything, and each guy's going to get a turn on top, or a chance on top. I shouldn't say a turn. That could be mis could be misconstrued as a inaccurate statement. Down to a minute ten. Down to 55 seconds. <laughs> 35 seconds left. Two on one for Stefanowitz. Far side elbow control for Joe Rao. Quick peek at the clock by Stefanowitz. Oh, Joe Rao! Wow, good snap down. Stefanowitz went high elbow. That's how you cut that guy out. See, now that's the difference between Greco and freestyle, folks, because you can't go hamstring pull there. You just have to float by, try to run the corner. Because one arm just... End of the period. We're back at it. If you're taking a peek at the other match, Jenna Burkett just forced a match number three against Helen Maroulis. Two of the ladies matches are going to two out of three, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty-five seconds down. A lot of pushing, a lot of leaning here. Joe Rao with the pinch headlock. He's going to step and turn. Stefano, which goes limp arm, shrug through, breaks free the hold. Two minutes left. I'm going to see if somebody, they're pointing in red. Stefanowicz gets to that two-on-one, though. They're pointing red again. Looks like they're going to warn him. They're asking for it, and it's confirmed. Okay, so one point Joe Rao, and he gets top. Minute 47 left here. Huge sequence. 
Stefano, it's deep breath. If you've ever wrestled Greco and you're on bottom, it's just taking abuse. There's no fighting back. This guy's cross-facing you, ripping your face off, squeezing your ribs as hard as he can, trying to pick you up and put you on a poster. And your job is just to take it and not score. Joe Rao with that front headlock. Stefanowicz, oh my goodness, wow. Really well done by Stefanowicz. Thought Joe Rao was gonna sit under and, and go for the flip over and didn't do it. Or at least the front headlock, just pinch. But he had his chance on top. He gotta, he's gotta do better with that. He's gotta be, he's gotta endanger him there. Cause he's not gonna get another call. And even if he does, it's not gonna matter cause two ones don't beat a two. Let's hope the uh, the corner knows that this time. seconds left. Johnny Stefanowicz is about to be a Cinderella story here, folks. He can taste it. You can tell. I don't know what happened in the first match, but Stefanowicz out-wrestled him in this match. He committed to the only attack and got it. He didn't even get a chance on top. And at this point, he's going to win the match. I actually got to call the Perry Tournament of Champions and Stefanowicz did the play-by-play -play with he sat in for Hardo Moore, who couldn't make it. Slip throw. Just super humble guy. Joe Rao, done an, an interview and a podcast with him. Both awesome dudes. We are well represented by just the quality of human beings at this weight. Joe Rao needs a miracle here. I think Stefano, which might just literally break down crying, like he's just that kind of dude. Exactly what I thought. 